What's happened to Twyford Down is going to be repeated at a thousand other places around Britain in the next 15 years, uh, unless people stop them. And I, people have been so outraged by what's happened at Twyford. There, there seems to be a mass movement growing now. Uh, people around the country are starting to realise that if they don't get up and say no, this is going to happen to them. Ladies and gentlemen! Yes, Simon! What? Is it better with this? Or is it better with this? Welcome to Playpits Valley. Thank you. Welcome to Twyford Down. <laughs> Welcome to the biggest man-made hole in the south of England. Welcome to Major's Madness. Welcome to Chump's Chalk Pit. Welcome to McGregor's it's been gutted and its entrails strewn all over the adjacent water meadows. It's a requiem, but we are not here to bury Twyford Down. We're here to pay tribute to it. That's right. Twyford Down is a martyr. It's a martyr to Thatcher's vision of Britain. And you do not bury martyrs, you raise them again. <laughs> Thank you.
July the 4th, um, me and 12 other people broke a High Court injunction, which basically prevented us from walking on Twyford Down anymore. Um, a couple of weeks later, we all received summonses. Private detectives came to our, our doors, um, rang our doorbells and handed over uh, large quantities of, of papers, uh, basically proving that we'd broken the injunction. Um, we were summoned to court three days later, High Court in London, and we, on that day we were imprisoned for 28 days. So we were, we were taken out of court um, to a lot of uproar from, from people in the public galleries. Um, I spent two weeks in prison in Holloway, um, and there were f another, another woman with me and four men in Pentonville prison. Um, and we released on remission last week after having served two weeks. Vamos. 